Bud, and today we're talking threaded caps versus pop caps fight just like there's no shortage of shapes and colors and sizes and nid types it's the same thing when it goes to how you put the cap on the pen so we're going to talk about some different types of uh, threaded caps and different types of snap caps or push caps and talk about maybe pros and cons just things to think of uh, when something's made and also maybe some tips uh, when you're looking at pens, you're thinking about one, just a few things from at least my point of view, maybe it will come in handy. Start this off talking on the threaded side of the camp. So one thing, you know, on my reviews, if you watch them, this is one thing I always like really keep a close eye on are these puppies here and the ones in the cap, the threads. And the reason for that, you know, a bit of my background with engineering, working in machine shops and making sure everything's built properly and, and made to last. But also, too, that's a major component of a pen. If you think about what gets used the most, obviously the nib, you know, so the nib and feed and the ink delivery system, um, you know, it's got to fit in your hand and look good for you and all that kind of stuff be the nib you want. But it's got to put ink on the page. And the other thing that you're doing all the time is you're taking the cap on and off. You're, boom, popping a note, putting it back on. This is This gets used a lot. Taking the cap off, take, you know, so you can write and sometimes you post it as well. So it's a super critical part of the pen. And also because you've got things like moving parts, you know, threads and things like that, that can also impact the longevity. And it can also take away from build quality if it's not done right. So some things to think about. Let's get her some older pens. So this is late 80s. That's not crazy old. But then we got one like this. So this is my oldest threaded uh, fountain pen. So this is the Esterbrook J series. The guy, I, I uh, purchased it from online, and then I had someone service it here locally in Vancouver. Uh, I think it was like late 40s, or maybe it was early 40s. I can't remember. So let's just say mid-40s. So anyhow, this is this pen's got some mileage on it. It's 2021. So here we are, you know, 80-ish years, high 70s. Like, that's a lot of years on this pen. And the threads are still fantastic. So why are these threads good on an older pen like this? One thing right away, we got same material on the cap, same material on the threads. That definitely helps with longevity. Also, just it's a good quality thread. You know, again, I don't got the best setup for, for zooms and stuff, but it's a fairly well-made thread. It's the right uh, pitch as well, and it's also made well in the cap. One thing to look for, we'll see if the camera can pick this up, when you're looking at threaded pens, is so this is a four start pen so if we can look through oh boy focus is terrible let me see if i can do here just there we go i think that's better so it starts four times so one's there quarter turn another one there quarter turn another one there another one there so whenever you have a quarter turn thread typically that just means one full rotation and it's on there so that's kind of nice so one thing to think about you won't want to overturn the pen I had a pen which I returned six rotations. That was ridiculous. So that's one key thing with a threaded pen. If you got a threaded cap, there is that a bonus thing is you know if you got similar materials that helps. So this Mont Blanc is the same way. Very nice threads are cut very well, going into the same materials. Even on this Pelican as well, same thing, same materials, four start thread. So those are some good threads. The Pilot's got nice threads. One thing you can do when you unscrew the cap just a little you just you know quarter turn or half turn or something give it a wiggle it shouldn't be crazy sloppy so this pilot's very well made you can well made threads you can feel them as well they're not super sharp we got similar materials there um, so any of my pens that have good threads they're all going to the same materials it's just over and over it's a theme over and over and over again even if it's metal it's metal on metal something to watch out for is metal on plastic. If it's done right, and I'm going to show you an example, I don't see longevity being a problem. But if it's not done right, again, you do this all the time. This is capping, uncapping, capping, uncapping. This is one thing that's done so much with a pen. This is why I'm super critical of threads. So the one that I've seen that does a very good job is the Montegrappa. And I know there's some other ones as well. Um, but so far, this is the one I like the most when it comes to matching uh, steel threads you know with whatever material this, this is a resin of some kind it's a very it's a coarse thread so typically coarse thread 
it's sharp and pointy on the top, which would destroy this stuff, but they do a square thread. You can see that there. See, it's kind of flat on the top. So this is similar to something called a lead screw that's on some machinery. Um, whoops, <laughs> I'm capping the pen looking through the camera. Very smooth, and also they have this collar. So when you close it, you stop. You can't keep driving the threads into the material. That's super important. Some other pens, and you've seen me beat up pens, and you know, that's fine. We don't have to agree, but say on this one, for example, it's a similar style thread that they have. It is a little bit sharper. See, it's not quite square. They're trying to replicate that, and then there's no thread stop. So we, again, and this material isn't as high as quality. It's much cheaper, so I get it. But you close it, and if you've got heavy hands, you can just keep going. And if you do this over years and years and years and years and years, this can crack or it can cut new threads. This thing can get sloppy and loose versus here. You just, that's all she wrote. That's as far as you're going, so that's the proper amount of, you know, the kind of torque that's going to go on, and you can't overdrive it. So those are some things to look for when I'm talking about, when in, I look at, sorry, when I look at a pen and, and I'm looking at threads, that to me is a big thing because if I want my pen to last, and you know, there, there clearly are pens that do, um, similar materials, but if they mismatch, there's a few key design things they got to do to do these things right, and the pen will last. Talk pop caps, again, tons of different styles with these two. When I thought about this video, I thought, oh, there isn't that much variance really, but then I actually looked at the, I have the small collection of pens that I have and noticed there's a huge uh, variance in what's going on. So again, the cool thing with pop caps, they just pop off nice and quick. You don't have to worry about threading, um, cross threading things as well. Maybe it's one less thing, you know, there's no rotation that's going on. So there's nothing to strip or wear out as much. There are, you know, mechanisms that are inside the cap to, to hold it in place, depending on how that's done. If it's done very well, I could see it lasting a very long time. And you get these satisfying little clicks. Let me put it to the mic. You know, that's a nice sound, right? Same with, say, a Lamy 2000. Nice little clicks. So one thing to notice too, same thing with any time it's moving and that that is moving when you're opening and closing, it's if you can have like materials as well. So here on the lamb, you got these little uh, steel ears, these little tangs. They go into the into the cap. And you can see those little steel bars as well. So like on like is good. Here we got aluminum, anodized aluminum, and it is a plastic. Uh, cap liner, but it's done properly and same thing. You can't drive it uh, too far Here we got the you know Safari. Well, this is the all-star Here we do have a mishmash But and this is very simple and effective. I don't have a nib. I was going to swap stuff around but same thing goes on there, but you know This is a it does turn a little bit and it's a little bit looser same with posting But a very reliable system because obviously there's a ton of these out there and that's just not a problem we got funky ones like on this Muji. Very slick how they do this. Um, it just slides right in there very nicely. Has a satisfying sound. Let's all hear it. And also on the back of the pen, when you post it, it just slip. Man, my focus is terrible today. It's just focusing on everything else. It just slips inside of there. Isn't that fancy? So very well made, you know. Um, things to watch out for. This is such a thin wall here and on the back of the pen, if it gets dented, uh, that's not going to work too well, right? So little things to watch out for. So same on this Visconti, it's magnetic. So that's kind of cool. There's a magnet and it just pull, let's do it on the ground here. It just kind of pulls itself together. One thing though with this one is there's a little step up that's inside of there and it kind of jams on here. So it does go in nicely. And it's got a nice, you know, it gets in there. It posts very well. But a lot of times it can get stuck on the edge when you're putting it in. It's not quite in there. you got to you know, push it all the way home. This Waterman, it's got a nice metal ring there. And going inside of a cap liner, there's a little uh, type of plastic insert. So, again, dissimilar materials, but they do a very, very good job of it. And it's all with these little profiles, how these are rounded. So it won't wear that off excessively quick. So all these here are, are pretty good. Of course, Parker 51, we got metal on metal, very similar to the Lamy. I did a comparison video. You can check that one out too. Then there's ones like this, this Ondoro. Whoops, sorry about that. 
works very well it gets in there secure same thing but i do worry with this one because the whole capping mechanism is on this collar so this collar catches on the innards of the cap so that's one thing i do worry a little bit with longevity so just some different capping mechanisms capping systems things to consider um, when you're buying a pen which is better i don't know that's up to you but uh differences between threaded caps and pop caps snap caps whatever you want to call them there's some obvious pointers there which is better really neither there's just things to consider it is nice with a threaded cap knowing that it's on there for sure it's on there tight you don't have to worry about it uh, coming out or if it leaks a bit it should stay contained within the cap uh, you might worry about that a little bit with a pop cap but i don't i've never really had any pens uncapped by themselves even if it's a snap cap like that um, but you could worry about that that was in your shirt and you go to take the pen out maybe the cap comes off and the pen stays in there and then it gets ink on your shirt one little thing to think about but they are nice for popping out quick doing the note putting it back on that's super quick versus these you got you know thread 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 get it on there write the note so if you're going to be a little more speedy maybe in class notes and stuff like that get something that has a pop cap but really um, the biggest thing is materials and how these systems are done whether it's pop cap or screw cap they can last a very long time like i showed you here are our oldest ones i got where it is the Estabrook? Here it is. So these are both very old pens. And then mind you, the Lamy design is as well, you know, mid 60s. And this, these have lasted a very long time because they're done properly. The, uh, the teams that designed it, the engineers, the manufacturers, took all these kind of things into consideration and have a very reliable system for something I feel sometimes overlooked. This is done all the time with your pens on, off, on, off, onto the back, on, off, on, off, onto the back for decades. And they should be able to hold up because that's a very key part of it. If the cap doesn't fit or it falls off or it's loose now, or the system stops working, well, you can't really use your pen anymore because now the nib's going to dry up or it's going to leak and stain everything. So there's a few things to think of. Uh, you know, when we're talking about caps on pens, which is what we do on the Doodlebud channel, thanks for stopping by. Comment, likes, subscribes, those all help me out. I want to do giveaways and cool reviews and stuff like that so you you guys definitely help me thanks for popping by we'll catch you next time